Hello folks, River here, back with another episode of Gifts of the Caucasus, and once again I am down by the shop because I wanted to buy a couple things, got a little bit more money, I don't know if I'm going to have enough money right now to buy everything, but as you may know I left the last episode with an issue of not being able to sell the milk. So I did a little test off screen. I was getting a bit frustrated by that. I don't think that tank will be a complete waste, but what I did recognize is that this trailer, which comes with the mod pack, will be good for selling milk. So I would like to buy one of those. And then I was looking, because we have that other trailer, at least in part, I thought that it would be good to Come into here now. Uh, not universal tanks. I was just there a minute ago. Well, let's see. Is it in here? No. Where the heck was it? Not tippers. Hmm. Let's just do this. It's not this, but it's the equivalent of it. Um, it was relatively cheap. It wasn't a loading wagon. And it definitely wasn't bailing. Bail. See, this one's fun. This is the exact idea, but this one's for fertilizer. And it's not forestry equipment. It's not cars. Load wagons, telehandlers, misc. No. No. Oops, we're at the end. All right, let's jump back. Again, it's similar to this universal tank. Slurry wagons. It's not a sprayer. Guess I should have paid more attention, huh? It's not a tractor. It's not a sale. Is it in regular? That would be weird. Oh, yeah, it is. I guess it's just a regular in-game thing. Anyway, this here tank, and it's only fifteen thousand, so it holds one hundred fifty-five thousand. What I would like to do is get into spraying some slurry. So I'll buy this. If nothing else, this will let me. And since slurry is kind of brown, let's get a brown one. And let's go back and come in here. I forget. For a while, I used one of these. No, nope, not slurry tanks. Um, oh, yeah. So do we have enough? Yes. So let's just go for it. So we'll be able to spread and we'll do it the brown color. That'll kind of be our slurry color, I guess. Boom. So there we go. So since we're sitting there making slurry, let's see about dragging this guy up there and just getting some of the slurry out of the tank at the BGM. Drag this guy over to the field. Not sure. It's been a long... I think I've used this, but it's, if I have, it's been quite a while since I, since I did. A little bit of money here, but I guess in the long run we'll save on some fertilizer. So I'll probably just get this set up for right now. In the middle of uh, harvesting chaff in this field, the shop field cedar planting in field 16. And I've planted the wheat in field 18, just south of us. And also, I sprayed fertilizer on it, and that's what got me to thinking, you know what, I probably, since I have that trailer that's not going to be able to do my milk anyway, so it might be good to come down here and you know, start the slurry operation. I realized it wasn't going to cost that much money in the grand scheme of things. 
I don't know how much it's going to save us, but it sure can. Might as well take advantage of an otherwise wasted resource. Alright, let's see if we got the refill. Yep. There we go. Like I say, if nothing else, you know, start using this instead of the fertilizer. about 50,000. Eventually I might course play this. But we'll kind of see how it goes. Sort of like to run things manually for a bit. Gives me a better idea of what might be good to set up for course play. Right. So the other thing I've been doing, if you notice, let me stop here and get rid of that. All these fields are or all these fields, all these silos are full. So I am in the process of dumping all of this chaff into this heat. And that's kind of what I was talking about with, let's see how much we have as we go by. Close to it. Yeah, so see, we almost have a full silo full of chaff just waiting to go, so regardless of where I'm at with the fields, I'll probably just fill one of them right up pretty quickly. Yeah, I want to step up as much as possible the completion you know, the money making. Right, so I'll just park this guy here for now. I guess I'll have to get another tractor. I don't really have one available, do I? This little guy, I'm not sure how well he would do with the big tanker. And this guy is a T6. But these two guys are busy. Probably just for now, drop this guy back off. Oop, not this guy, sorry, this guy. Let's just leave that there since we're. And we'll run all the way back down to the shop. And... Now, this tank thing, I don't think you can fill that and then drag it. Like, once it's got stuff in it, it's, it's kind of positioned. You want to be a little bit careful about where you place it. And it's been a while since I've done a slurry operation for whatever reasons. I guess when you normally play the soil mod, you know, I really, trying to get the PK right is as important as anything else. The nitrogen is flexible, so you just don't tend to, you know, you really don't need more nitrogen. You end up spraying NPK, which gives you 3 PK, and if you do that twice, you end up adding 6 nitrogen to the field overall and that just means you don't you just don't need to uh, spray nitrogen itself any right here let's do this guy real quick and he may even let's get awful close to being run down there might run down and dump this off if you fill up if not we'll wait for one more round 39,000. Let's see what it takes us. Just So we got a good solid supply of chaff. Just have to get it all turned in and sold off. So I kind of would like to do my best to maximize the production of this BGN. Like I said, this trailer will mean I have over a full silo just waiting ready to go. And then by the time I do these other two fields, I'll probably have 800,000 or so heat if that guy doesn't you know, empty the whole silo. So hopefully I can get ahead of it. And I got three fields worth of 
worth of windrow that I'll have. Empty bull. Run back. What else is going on in the farm? I guess we'll take a look and see if much has changed about our... Okay, I'm right here for a minute. And come back to this guy, which I'm not sure why I turned him. Let's go to the store. To the shop, I should say. See our corn over in the field. Some stuff here. Well, I clutter up the screen, especially when I'm recording. Sometimes I leave that stuff on there when I'm not recording. Uh, for the YouTube videos, when I watch them and the guy's got all the stuff, or even I have all the stuff up there. See if we remember how to operate this guy. Like this, I hope. Why can't I pick him up? Gosh darn it. Alright, let's do this old trick. I don't know if you guys know it, but let's uh, come in here and category weights. We'll just buy the smallest weight. Let's see if we can do it this way. It's a little bit annoying if we have to, but oops. this way. Get that guy too close in there. Alright, so if that lets us out. I think that be nice if this big tractor could handle some of this kind of stuff. There you go. See that trick? So by using the weight, it's got the other type of hitch on there, which means we can drag it along with this tractor. And we'll go set him in the field, and then we'll have to run all the way back up to the main farm and get that blue tank that we bought last episode. Sure to work with this. Sure hope it does. If not, I think it's going to get sold. I did go and buy some gasoline, so uh, diesel fuel. And I've also bought seeds and fertilizer. So you can see the guy's out there seeding, and he's got 8,000. He's not going to use all 8,000 to seed that field. Pretty sure we'll go through most of this if we fill it up. I'm not sure that we really need it, but you know, I could probably just fill that other tanker with another tanker. But in the long run, when we get fields that are further away, this thing will come in real handy. Keep the uh, slurrying the fields operation going as fast as possible. Out of 
way place up here. I'm just going to leave this weight for now, right with him. And let's run up to really this tanker operation would only work with two tractors, but we're going to kind of pretend, sort of testing that everything works. Field 18, by the way, used 70% of the wheat, which is right around where we're at now. I'm kind of curious to see how much Field 16 is bigger than 18. See it uses. Just to get an idea how much we should keep in there, 23,000 at the moment. But again, once that guy, he'll, he'll have more than 8,000 left. So this tanker is up here. Fill him up. So this guy holds what 30,000, I think it was. And so now I also know we have a place to sell milk. How much milk do we have? After our little fiasco, we're down to 90,000. So I'm not in too much of a rush to get that done. Not that I was in a rush last night, but that's what I recorded the video. I guess. Same game day. We'll get some milk sold off a little bit later, maybe after I spray this field. Hopefully this guy doesn't have a problem dumping into this tank. I don't think he does. I'm pretty sure I've used this same setup way back when. I don't really know. I even went and checked after I figured out that this one mod worked. Sort of went and checked. I guess it's just a trailer type kind of issue or, or something. So, pull this guy up. How are we doing? Yeah, so at least we'll use some of this stuff. We really haven't paid too much attention, and I don't know how much we're going to save, like I said, but I guess you could look at it as free. There's really not much demand for it up at the garden center would be the one place you could sell this. And I don't know, a lot of these runs, I'm, you know, I don't know if it's because I'm on hard mode, but you know, a lot of the running around, a lot of what would make this map good, the, it's just not enough money. When I was selling the, well, what was I selling last? Oh, when I was running around just uh, selling the stuff, the flour from the grain mill, that maize flour, I ended up making like $400 a run. I and mean, it's not worth, certainly not worth course playing a guy to do it. You know, so I ran them manually and even that was just really not worth it. So when you combine the fact that you've got that going on and then the fields themselves really just don't bring in very much money, you know, I'm sort of regretting my decision to do the hard mode on this map. I just don't think it's appropriate for the pricing of you know these bigger items in the map. Alright, so let's see. Start overloading now. Yeah, so maybe this is just like an overload trailer, you know, intended to do just this thing here, and it's that's why the other one you know, it could be just a different trailer type that's just not getting recognized by that cell point. Because this trailer does unload the gasoline, uh, diesel fuel. If you look 
back here. You know, we got 45,000, so. So what I think I'll do is just see how far this slurry starts taking me. Let's get it all loaded. I'll just leave the trailer here. And when it comes to slurry or fertilizer, it doesn't matter that the seeds are seeds, fields are planted first or not. Alright, so let's leave him there for the moment. Go back and grab this guy. And this guy's not giving me a whiff in the in the mod description for some reason, so we'll see. Right, so let's come to here and get this guy going. And let's get out of the way of the tree and we'll come up here and unfold them. Try to get it relatively straight. Oops. Oh yeah, this is the way to do slurry, huh? That's a little wider than it was even got the picture. Let's kind of get him. All right, so let's come here and say auto calculate the width. Let's hope it's 25. So there you go. So let's see if 25 works out. We don't want an offset. And let's move this all the way over. Couldn't be much further from the right location, could it? Is that guy running around? Nah, he's still going up and down there. So we should be safe to shoot down this row while he's... GPS on. Phone slipping. We're going to go for this anyway. Let's see. Do we have any controls over this trailer? Fold slurry tanker. No. Not really. I could say with him rubbing on the ground, seems like he might have a problem at times, huh? And just like I expected, we are tearing through some slurry, which is fine. At this point, we got plenty of it. All right, so slurry operations have begun. So I will probably finish doing this course, or doing this field all together. With the, and I'll come back and we'll take another look at the milk sales. Alright, be right back. That's it back again. I only did two rows with the uh, guy there, and I thought, you know what, this isn't going to work. So I waited till he got done planting the rest of this field, and kind of see a little difference in the field texture over there because it's slurry. I don't think that affects anything. It's still before or after, it should still be fertilized. But. What I did want to do is turn this on, get my GPS on, and then set up a course. But the way I'll do that is, and this isn't that exacting, but I will just use this to get lined up pretty well, make sure that when I come down here, I'm going to be a little closer. You know, I'll use this GPS line here to get the right distance away. So yeah, so it should, should go there. I'll we'll have to remember to put a pause point there. Hopefully we can turn around and problem around that tree. So what I'm going to do is make a course from that slurry tank. This way is a dry run, and then the crone is finished. Let's jump over to him real quick. I'll just shut him off for a second. I'll deal with that off camera in a minute. So, 
let's go back to this guy. You want to see there's refill. No, there's fill. There's R. A little bit past that. And we're going to. I guess it's grain transport, right? Lord transporter. Huh. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't think again it matters. Too much. Back up just here. Get him going right there. See if this works. Start course recording. Right, so we've got our three dots before we turn. Which is good. So stay on our side of the road. Yeah, this, this guy uses so much one. I'm not even going to get two full swipes before I'm going to have to refill. So I thought, well, if somebody's not running slurry back and forth. And then these containers are only 15,000, which, you know, I, I don't know if I'll get one for each field, but as often as I have to fill. So we got this GPS line. We could have filled up some slurry. We feel coty. I didn't put my pause button. Let's put it right here. And then we'll swim around. Hopefully that works out okay. Yeah, it's kind of dumb not to bring the slurry down with me, but too late, it's too late. This should also generally keep him a little bit out of the way. This way into the place. If I do have a guy running course play, it's pretty close. I can just stop it right here. Slurry. Yeah, we'll just try this regular oh, uh, course here and see what happens. Yeah, I've seen this before where this guy doesn't fill up. Or at least I seem to remember it anyway. I'm not sure why he doesn't. A little bit annoying that you gotta go up there and kick the button, so to speak. We'll see. Alright, so that means that we can now go back to this guy. And he has filled up 9,500. Take him back out of the field, fortunately. Uh, I don't like driving on the grass, but I'll have to come up with something like this. See if we see. If we're not even going to get two rows, but you got to do what you got to do, right? There we go. So we're slurrying. You know, probably take about the same amount of time. We're going a little bit faster, 15 miles an hour. So I see the horse play guy coming around. How's he look over there? Hopefully he'll unload without much prompting. Without driving corner on the corner. 
see them up there in the glance mods. And hopefully we'll see that 30,000 slurry start dropping down. is no. Let's pause him real quick. Do I have to continue maybe? Let's see if he just goes on his own. Still got slurry in there. Can't see him anymore, so I might as well turn around in here. He's not doing it all the time. We'll try a different kind of course. Gets up to the other end. Yeah, so see it took about 12,000 to do one run. So that, and we only have 20,000 in this thing. That's alright, at least he's running back. Even if I even if it's goofy that I gotta stop and kick him in the butt, so to speak. Go. We seem to have a bit of a slurry operation, but I was hoping to make that guy look good. I can even see him on the map from here. So he's uh, not quite there yet. Question. I have to follow this guy every time. Let's see if I just come up here. This guy, while that guy's filling, Let's stop driver, we'll back up a little bit. That's not going to be good. Let me try the Mentor Transporter, though I tend to doubt. Yeah, that's not Wish he would fill on his own. more work involved as far as I mean, I've usually been spraying manually anyway. Yeah, this certainly involves more. So even when he's full, is he going to try a little yeah, At least I don't have to go back there. This guy doesn't do too well on uneven ground. Yeah, this won't be too bad with this 25 meters. It's, it's a good shot, even though it does go through it real quick.
eventually that guy will catch up and not have to run back and forth quite so much. Looks like he's there, so we'll stop again. Let's just see what happens if I hit continue. there the whole time. Okay, well anyway. Back to this guy. I'll send that guy off in a minute. Maybe the next time we're going to refill. I don't think he's going to empty fully anyway. I don't think the tank's going to be Fully empty. Maybe it will. And so what's the next plan on the field? Well, it's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm going to go and sell some milk. So what I may do is just cut it here and keep doing this, and then when I'm, when I'm ready to sell the milk, I'll get back and touch the I decided to uh, finish off the chaff fields, the grass fields, and uh, just dump the last load. Also because... The trailer that I bought is a uh, tractor trailer type trailer, so I thought, you know what, I, I just want to use this orange tractor for now. But you can see I have 762 chaff on this, and this guy's still not done unloading that one silo, so. In a little bit, we'll, we'll come back, probably off camera, and fill that silo up from this pile. So that was what I was missing before. If, if those were all full, you know, then I wasn't wasn't able to harvest them, obviously. And I think I'll park this guy somewhere over here without going to the river. Next to this guy. So yeah, I figure I'll leave some of my slurry equipment down here. Well, I don't necessarily want to move this guy down here permanently. Just seems like I'll need him down here next to, to load that silo up. So. Do you want to, the other truck will, or the trailer will be clean because it's brand spanking new. Why don't we wash this before we head down there? Come on out of the truck. Looks like it's going to the cab, is it? Yeah, see, look, I'm spraying the inside of the truck. Alright, that was pretty clean. So, what we're doing now is we're going to go grab this milk trailer. And I think I'm going to see about trying to set up a course plank for us, which might be a little bit tricky with that mud. Let's see if we can't do it somehow. It's going to require a little bit of trailer backing up, which I know, you know, gets a lot of people 
not 100% sure how we'll do it exactly. And then what I'll probably do is see if I can't run past both of the trigger locations, the uh, drop-off locations, so that I only have to have this one course. I only have one milk tank, and you know, I don't know how that'll work out if the dairy's not open, but they're both right down that way, and you should pretty much have to pass the bakery to get to the dairy. So we'll see how it works out. Other than that, we're doing pretty well. If you look, we've got 30,000 seeds, 28,000 fertilizer, a pretty, pretty good number of crops. So if we do get any kind of high demand or whatever it is, we should be in pretty good shape. So hopefully this trailer does better than... It doesn't look very big, does it? Hopefully this trailer does better than... Yeah, the grass. You don't have this grass to just cut, so I won't hurt it at all. I'll cut across the field. I don't do that too much on this map, because it's... Well, any map that has the crop destruction. But since I just cut it a few minutes ago, it should be okay. Anybody, right? Oop. What would happen here? I never did this before. Wow. That's out of my league. Two million. Manufactured products warehouse. Okay, well. That's the first time I've seen a building go up for sale. And I've played 155 hours. First field, first building. So, good. At least we know it works. And this field here, which is rye, should be ready next turn, if I didn't say that already. Right, so the best way to do, let's start talking about the milk course play. The best way to typically do this is to back up with just the trailer, or just the uh, milk wagon. But the problem is I've never really had to back up Receiving point. You know, usually, most of the silos you drive through. So, what I'm thinking I'd do is just see how if I can turn around in this space. Ah, that's going to be awful tight for course play. So, I think I'm better off just doing a long backup from here. And, you know, and I guess I could cut that tree down, but. One of the things I've learned, and learned with the backing up courses. Let's go. Well, again, we'll drop the trailer off and pause the recording. So let's get this up. Yeah, so that should be a good place to start because he can fill from here. Go back. Yeah, so see, we're in good shape. Go forward a little bit. I'll be fine. Start course recording. Well, let's refill the guy. Fill the guy. Might as well take a load down there, right? In case we foul it up. At least we sold some milk. Yeah, let's switch over to Animal's View. And let's just see. Dairy. Dairy's still willing to take 70,000, so. All right, well, anyway, off we go, right? We'll shut that down. Let's shut this down. And away we go. You know, and even if this course doesn't work out 100%, it'll save me. You know, I can still fill them up myself and kind of set them on his way. Not to have a... Uh, slow because course play doesn't react as well as you do to bumps like that. I may end up in the river. That'll be funny. It'll make for a better video I guess if I do. Try to stay at the right hand side. Especially on these transport courses. 
some of the other courses I don't worry about quite so much. So like I said, I tested out this trailer. I know that it's going to work, at least at the bakery. I can't say I actually went to the, to the dairy thing, dairy factory. But we know where it is from the last episode fail that I had. But we got ourselves a slurry operation because of that. So I guess it's not so good. I used I think it was a good 400,000 or 200,000. I don't know how much that thing holds. But we're down to 600. So it's the second driveway right here. Just went a little bit wide in there. So we're going to hit the curb. Dots has got your right speed. And we'll just pull right up here. All right, and then all right, it works. So we're making some money. Now, other than missions and whatnot, we really haven't made much money selling anything, but. You know, but the chaff, or I mean the silage. Thousand, not too bad. It took days and days of cows to get that, but we really don't have that many cows, so I don't have a sharp stick in the eye. Hopefully he'll go slow enough not to hit it. So now, even though we don't need to, like I said, I'd like to come out of here. I do the dairies on the point. Even though that'll be a little bit of waste, at least, you know, I don't have to have two separate courses. And, and if it gets a partial trailer load, it'll go to both places. I won't have to worry about it. Should be right around this corner. Buzz through, especially if we see that on the. There we go. Alright, for the ride back and then the tricky part. I'm not really looking forward to the tricky part that much. After running this whole course, you hate to foul it up. But we'll see what happens. When we get up close. Relatively close, we'll just drop this trailer off. And that way it doesn't foul up the works. And we'll make a nice gentle turn and line up nice and straight with a nice backup point. And we'll have to go forward again. So I'm hoping to be able to, you know, a little bit back past where we want to be and then come back around. I'll show you what we each like I said I never <laughs> never backed into one. But I'm gonna try to get, you know, like I said, back a little bit further and then come forward. This water fountain here, the water pump. Let's just drop the trailer there. Pretend like we still have a trailer on. I think really we want to go turn right onto our 
orange dots there if we can. So that was pretty much straight out, right? So now we'll go until I get another dot. There's another dot. I probably didn't have to do that. I'm going to hit the reverse direction button. Turn around. It's not that it wouldn't work if you... So I'm going to try to go a little bit past it. Hit the reverse. Go forward a tiny bit. And then hit the stop. All right, cross your fingers. We're kind of close to that tank, but we'll see what happens. So let's go pick up this trailer. And oh yeah, little pile of silage. Huh? Forgot all about that little pile of silage. All right, let's just see what happens if we say drive course. Keep your fingers crossed. I might not have gone quite enough, I hope I went far enough forward to get that trailer nice and straight. I might not have. I didn't go far enough backwards. And then he scares me because he wants to drive in the river. Now, what we can do... Yeah, see, he did. I needed to take that back further there. Because it stopped way faster than I thought it would. And then he wasn't... When it came to, like, straightening back out to go on the... Like he stopped here, and then he was, it, it wasn't f close enough, you know, so he tried to turn around to get to the, to the start point. But what I can do is I will tell him to drive the course at the first waypoint. Back up a little bit once I get filled up. And he should be fine for most of it, and then I'll just tell him, to, uh, it's not like I'm going to be doing this that often. Yeah, first waypoint, drive course. Now activate this. Well, I really I should activate it when it gets down to the bottom. Let's see what happens when it comes over this. This might be. I'm hoping it's not dramatic YouTube footage, but. I uh, did pretty well. Very good. All right, so we got some milk sales going on, and uh, I might correct the course, you know, let me see how he does with the rest of it, why not, but I might correct that course at some point one of these days. I'll make sure he doesn't have any issues in the rest of the way. And other than that, um, you know, not a whole lot going on. I think I got most of the work done. You know, all the fields are just sort of waiting for something. This this field will be ready with the rye fairly soon. Um, you know, the grass just got cut a few minutes ago. If I go to here, we'll take a quick look at our grain mill. Oops, that's not the grain mill. Grain mill, you know, prices really haven't changed that much. Man hasn't changed, so we just got that done not that long ago. So it seems like that only updates once a day. The, the prices may change a little bit, but it seems like these quantities, I'm not sure when they change, but not, certainly it doesn't seem every hour. Yeah, the animals, we'll get another 44,000. So I'll, I'll certainly probably try to redo that course. And, show you it at some point in the future if it does work, but I'm pretty sure if I had just gone back further, you know, your course would work out okay. We just didn't go back far enough to need a start point, so. Well, there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and 
this point, I'm going to call it quits for the day and go get some dinner. And I hope you enjoyed it, and have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye. Guys, I'm here for a second try. I just recorded this again, so if you're seeing this, that means I was successful. A little bit of running out of milk here, but anyway, without further ado... Let's tell this guy to drive the course and watch what happens. So I went back, kind of. Uh, oh yeah, it's trying to get. See what happens here. Like that. Yeah, you can see we only have 19,000. So see, I went a little bit further this time. Spin the camera around. Then I went a little bit further back, you know, towards that mud puddle. Again, the nice thing about Farm Sim is it's actually, it'll steer the tractor on the course that you, or the trailer on the course that you make. There you go. Very nice. So he's filling with milk. Now he won't fill, so I'll have to just tell him to continue, and I'll, he'll go by the dairy before he goes to the bakery, but we got all our milk sold, and, and away we go. So, there you go. Well, thanks again for watching, and have a good day. Take care.